Hi everyone, how you going? How's your day going? Good, I hope. Weekend, 27th of November, 21. Does someone else be today? Oh, do you have what, presents for Christmas ready? I said, no, sorry, I don't do Christmas. And they just looked at me like I was com completely crazy. You know? Uh, what is Christmas? Christmas? Yeah, um, I don't think so. Christian festival claiming the birth of Jesus, early term Christmas Mass on Christ Day is a fairly recent origin. Earlier term Yule may have derived from Germanic Joel or Anglo-Saxon Joel, which refer to the Feast of the Winter Solstice. The corresponding terms in other languages, divided in Spanish, Natal in Italian, Noel in French, and all probably denote nativity. The German word hallowed light. Since the early 20th century, Christmas has also been a secular family holiday observed by Christians and non-Christians alike, devoid of Christian elements and marked in, by increasingly elaborate exchange of gifts in secular Christmas celebration and mythical feature named Santa Claus plays a role. Christmas is celebrated on Saturday 25th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see this guy, Santa Claus? He's got nothing to do with... This is who he really is. Krampus is a horned... In Alpine folklore, who during Christmas season scared children who are misbehaved, assisting St. Nicholas, the first of three good December figures, the other two being Santa Claus and Dead Moss. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. The pair visited children on the night of 50 December and St. Nicholas rewards the well-behaved children with the modest gifts such as oranges, dried fruit, walnuts, chocolate, whilst the badly behaved ones only receive punishment of birch rods. rods. The origin of the figure is unclear. Some folklorists and anthropologists have postulated it as ha having pre-Christian origins in traditional parades and in such events as the Krampus run. Young men participate dressed as Krampus and attempt to scare the audience with their antics. Such events occur annually in most alpine towns. Krampus is featured on holiday greeting clouds called Since 2013, the character has become better known globally, having been portrayed in the Hollywood horror films, almost unknown before the time. Krampus has become part of the American pop culture. The history of the Krampus figure has been theorised as stretching back to pre-Christian Alpine traditions. Discussing his observations in 1975, while in a small turn, I anthropologist John, yeah, okay. So, Christmas origins, right? The early Christian community distinguished between the identification of the date of Jesus' birth and the literal celebration of that event. Now, Jesus' birth is more September 11. The actual observance on the day of Jesus' birth was long in the coming. In particular, during the first two centuries of Christianity, there was a strong opposition to recognising the birthdays of the Maidals, and for that matter, G G Numerous church fathers offered uh, sarcastic comments about pagan custom of celebrating birthdays when in fact saints and martyrs should be honoured on the day of their martyrdom, their true birthdays from the church perspective. Mm. Precise, precise origin of assigning December 25th as the birth date of Jesus is unclear. The New Testament provides no clues in the regard. December 25th was the first identified as the date of Jesus' birth by Sextus Julius Africanus in 221 and later became the universally accepted date. Who is that person? One widespread explanation of the origin of this date is that 25th was Christianizing the Dies Solus Invicti Neti, the day of the birth of the unconquered sun, a popular holiday in Roman Empire that celebrated the winter solstice as a symbol of resurgence of the sun. 
the casting away of winter and the heralding of the rebirth of spring and summer, indeed after December 25, had become widely accepted as the date of Jesus' birth, Christian writers frequently made the connection between the rebirth of the sun and the birth of the sun. One of the difficulties with the view is that it suggests a nonchalant willingness to be part of the Christian church to appropriate a pagan festival when the early church was so intent on distinguishing itself categorically from pagan beliefs and practices. A second view suggests that December 25 became the date of Jesus' birth by a priori reasoning that identified that the spring equinox as the date of creation of the world and the fourth day of creation when the light was created as the day of Jesus' conception, i.e. March 25th, December 25th, nine months later, then became the date of Jesus' birth. For a long time, the celebration of Jesus' birth was observed in conjunction with his baptism celebrated January 6th. Christmas began to be widely celebrated with specific liturgy in the 9th century, but did not attain liturgical importance of either Good Friday or Easter. The two other major Christian holidays. No, they're pagan, they're not Christian. Roman Catholic churches celebrated the first Christmas Mass at midnight, and Protestant churches have increasingly held Christmas candlelight services late on the evening on December 24th. Towards the end of the 18th century, the practice of giving gifts to family members had become well established. Theologically, the first feast day reminded Christians of God's gift to Jesus Christ to humankind. Even as the coming of the wise men or the Magi to Bethlehem suggests that Christmas would somehow reflect related to giving gifts. The practice of giving gifts, which goes back to the 15th century, contributed to the view that Christmas was a secular holiday focused on family and friends. This is one reason why Putrians in old and new England opposed the celebration of Christmas and in both England and America succeeded in banning its observance. Um, Children don't like it when you lie to them about Santa either. I can tell you one thing. I lied to my oldest two and not to my youngest one because my youngest one was three months old when my nephew drowned two days before Christmas. So we we sort of stopped celebrating Christmas around that time. Um, and my grandma died 45 minutes after my nephew. So it... it we just stopped celebrating it, and um, then I looked into it more, and my son actually thanks me for not lying to him and continuing that lie. Because what it really is, is this, it's the Saturnalia Festival. Saturnalia was an ancient Roman festival and holiday in honour of the sun god Saturn held on de December 17 on the Julian calendar and later expanded with festivities, festivities through to December 23. The holiday was celebrated with a sacrifice at the Temple of Saturn in Roman Forum and a public banquet, banquet followed by private gift-giving, continual partying and a carnival atmosphere. The overturned Roman social norms, gambling was permitted, the masters provided table service for the slaves. It was a scene of time of liberty for both saves and free men alike. A common custom was the election of the king of Saturnalia, who would give orders to people which were to be followed and presided over the merrymaking. The gifts exchanged were usually gag gifts or small figurines made of wax or pottery known as cigalia. The poet Cactulus called it the best of days. Saturnalia was the Roman equivalent to the early Greek holiday Krona, which was celebrated during the Attic months of in late midsummer it held a theological importance for some romans who saw it as a restoration of the ancient golden age when the world was ruled by saturn satan sorry the neapolitan publisher porphyry interpreted the freedom associated with saturnalia symbolizing the freedom freeing of souls into immorality. Saturnalia may have influenced some of the customs associated with later celebrations in Western Europe occurring in midwinter, particularly traditions associated with Christmas, the Feast of Holy Innocence, and Epiphany. In particular, the historical Western 
European Christmas custom of electing a Lord of Mijal may have its roots in certain earlier celebrations. In Roman mythology, Saturn was an agricultural deity who was said to have been reigned over the world in the Golden Age, when humans enjoyed spontaneous bounty of the earth without labour in the state of innocence. The rivalries of Saturnalia were opposed to the reflective the conditions of the lost mythical age. The Greek equivalent was the Krona, which was celebrated in the twelfth day of the month of, which occurred from around mid-July to mid-August on the Attic calendar. The Greek writer, it was, I can't even, yeah, sorry, also cites numerous and other examples to similar festivals celebrated throughout the Greco-Roman world, including the Cretan festival of Hermia in honour of Hermes, an unnamed festival from the in honour of po Poseidon, the Thessalonian festival of in honour of Zeus, and an unnamed festival from Babylon. He also mentions that the customs of masters Dining with their slaves was associated with the Antonin festival of Elf Anastasia and the Spartan festival of Hythsinsia, the Argive festival of Hybristia, though not directly related to the Saturnalia, involved in similar reversal of roles in which women would dress as men and women men would dress as women. The ancient Roman historian Justinus credits Sat Saturn was being historical king of the pre-Roman inhabitants of Italy. The first inhabitants of Italy were Aborigines, whose king Saturnus is said to have been a man of such extraordinary justice that no man, that no one was a slave in his reign or had any private property, but all things were common to all and undivided, and as one estate for the use of everyone, in memory of which way of life it had been ordered that at Saturnalia, slaves should be everywhere, sit down with their masters, at entertainers, the rank of all being equal, Justinus. Although probably the best known Roman holiday, Saturnalia as a whole is not described from beginning to end in any single ancient source. Modern understanding of the festival is pieced together from several accounts dealing with various aspects. So, these sort of things still go on today. Um, these are just some of the festivals that go on throughout the year. Uh, Hong Kong, Florida, South Korea, Thailand, Scotland, Austria, Spain, Canada, South Korea, Japan, Pamelona, Ivor, Ula, England, Mexico, Hungary, Japan, Japan, Ashburn. So many places. Like, and look, that's that clown face, you know, like um, the movie, uh, video made about Shriners and the Clowns, Nephilim. Like, that's the face, like, of the Nephilim. What they're trying to imitate the Nephilim is what they're doing. That's what it means. Crazy. <laughs> See, similar again, look. Beautiful artwork, but isn't it? World Body Painting Festival, Austria. Now, this one, <clears throat> this is why I wanted to show you. World El Concho, Spain. Baby Jumping Festival falls right upon your alley among the top unusual festivals around the world. The festival takes place annually to celebrate the Catholic Feast of the Corpus Christi. During the El Santo de Calcio, Devil's Jump, men dressed as devil wear red and yellow suits, holding whips and oversized cantonets to jump over babies who lie on a mattress on the street. The 1600s cultural festival is believed to ward off evil spirits, ensuring a safe passage through life. Though it was originally only a local custom, people from around the region have started bringing their babies to be blessed at the unusual ritual in the recent years. And I asked my mum ages ago, I said, did you take me to the circus as a baby? <laughs> she said, yeah. I said, geez, that's probably where my nightmares come from. <laughs> she just laughed at me. But surely this would torment a child, having things like that. A child wouldn't know that. That would torment a child. How can you do that to a child? Just crazy what people do. Like, people have no, like, with the fellas at Central 3, like, Running of the Bulls, Battle of the Oranges, like, Battle of the Tomatoes. It's like, shocking, yeah. 
throw cheese down a hill, waste more food. It's crazy. Well, imagine being crushed in that. Bugger that. There's so many festival weird festivals. Yeah, blocked. See? That's what I get. Blocked. Sick of it. But um this is why I don't do Christmas because it's it's not what they're telling us. During the Middle Ages, often on the evening before his name of the day, children will bestow gifts in his honour. The date was earlier than original day of gifts for children, which was moved in the course of the Reformation and its opposition to the veneration of saints, in which many countries on the 24th and 25th of December, the custom of giving to gifts to children at Christmas has been propagated by Martin Luther as an attentive to the previous very popular gift kiss custom of St. Nicholas. Yeah, it, it's just, I don't know, it's something about it. I just don't believe if you're a Christian, you should be participating in it. I just don't believe, yeah. So, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. It just gets crazier and crazier every year. I... I've noticed it's just each year as I age around this time of year, people get crazier, crazier. They spend more and more money. They spend more money than they did last year to outdo presents from last year. They have fights with family. They put on weight. They get gluttonous. They drink. It, uh, yeah. He's got the mitre hat on there too. But anyway, they're not good characters. That's all I know. I don't trust them. Not good characters. Anyway, that's why I don't do Christmas. Thanks for watching. Bye now.